Uh, you're going to love this one, folks. Uh, but first of all, thanks to Ratty for the link to this article. Uh, I would have missed this one, so thank you for emailing me the link. On the 7th of August 2018, a Bournemouth firearms officer accidentally shot the driver of a Mercedes during a stop. And guess what? That's right, the IOPC have just concluded the officer had not committed a criminal offence or behaved in a manner that would justify disciplinary proceedings. Now, it was reported that this moron put his hand on the driver's door, but accidentally fired his Glock as the vehicle pulled away. I mean, what the actual... What the hell was he doing with his finger on a trigger in the first place? I mean, they're supposed to only have their trigger on the finger, trigger on the finger, finger on the trigger, <laughs> when they're engaged, you know, in, you know, somebody's shooting at them or somebody's got a knife out to them or something like that. All other times, they're taught to have their finger pointed along the barrel. So, you know, so that's a procedural error right there at the very least. I mean, before I get heckled by, you know, planks, <laughs> I will say that the occupants of the Mercedes uh, were being stopped due to a stabbing that had occurred. But even so, if it's an armed stop, then why was the cop at the car window with his hand on the door? Oh, look, another failure of procedure. It is important to say, however, that the passengers or the passenger in the Mercedes was later charged in connection with a stabbing, but no evidence was offered on the first day of his trial and a not guilty finding was returned. Also, the driver was charged with dangerous driving in relation to the police stop and assisting the offender. Uh, his case was discontinued and not guilty verdicts were returned there as well. So what they've done is they've charged the driver um, or they tried to charge the driver with dangerous driving because the police shot his weapon. <laughs> I mean, this is, you know, this is clearly, clearly implemented to cover the dumb cops accidental discharge, shall we say. Although that does sound rather rude. Anyway, in another attempt to cover up the fact that the cop failed to follow correct procedure, the IOPC regional director also tries to blame the occupants of the Mercedes by saying, we are satisfied the shot fired by a Dorset police officer into the car window was unintentional and brought about by the Mercedes moving off. Well, no. Catherine Evans, IOPC Regional Director. It was the stupid cop's fault for approaching a vehicle with his finger on the trigger and failing to get the occupants out of the vehicle properly, you corrupt piece of crap. Let's face it, if the cop did nothing wrong, then why has the plod been advised to complete a refresher armed response training course before returning to full firearms duties? Huh? Eh? Well, what? No response. Typical. Uh, you know, I suppose it's not in a public's interest to side with a public when a cop makes a spectacular cock-up, like accidentally shooting someone. 